January 22nd. Now I'm going to do the long-term projections for Bitcoin uh, from 2023 on. Here, let me go over and get these charts correct. I'm going to go up to a daily. Now, our friend in the uh, trading view, these lines are always going, getting messed up, but let me just make sure I can arrange them correctly. And here we go with Bitcoin. I want to go over and make sure that everything is copacetic or looks fairly decent from your point of view. And that should do for a starting point. Um, we could see where we went up to 2021's high, uh, all the way up to here, before we collapsed all the way back down here, and where we're likely to go. Um, now we've touched the visual point from over here. No, I'm incorrect on that. We have not touched the visual point from here, which was right at the 80% range which is around that 14K area that I was talking about. That's gonna be a big pivot point. So there's still downside available to us. And we still have this pattern that I showed you over here um, that's built in right there. Um, so you can see the head shorts that I have. I put this in the short term uh, update that we just had, uh, that I just posted, um, of what I'm expecting to do, how I'm gonna react what I'm targeting short term and what I'm targeting a little bit further out over here. Uh, but then there are numbers that go all the way back down to here and under even that are possible. Um, and I want to go over and try to balance this out as perfectly as I possibly can. But this video is really about the long term projections um, for what's possible from 2023 to 2024 and then going out further five years in time, what is possible from there? As you can see, we start to turn the blue over here. Uh, now, in reality, that actually changes somewhere around here. Let me draw a vertical line. And I have to, I'll, I'll probably update this later um, because what is gonna happen at some point is we're gonna turn into a positive marketplace. I just haven't pinpoint the exact time, whether it's going to be, I think it's closer to August is what the, the statistics were showing up as. And they were from there, September, August, somewhere in this range over here, things start to change from July, August, September, um, all the way into even early October. I think October 5th was one of the dates. Um, so this has a range over in here of where things could reverse and statistically there's a time element to this um, so let's just put it on the 14th right there is the even point uh, that makes sense because right now we're projected to keep going down and in 2023 I'm gonna be looking for lower numbers I'm not gonna look for a reverse all the way up we could get back up to this 61.8 and above level, but we should quickly fall back and retest these lows and go lower. Um, this is going to be your uh, your area where you would statistically look to go over and uh, basically um, find resistance. So we'll put this as a red line right there. Now what happens usually on markets when they retrace, they retrace back up to the 61.8, but they usually do it from the 80% and under, and we haven't gone down there. We haven't gone to that 1456 number. Um, and it's kind of loose. It could go lower than that. It could go uh, under in the 138, you know, the 800, I, you know, that's a few hundred dollars. I don't care. Anywhere close to around those ranges. It's a statistical, um, in numbers sometimes they go much lower sometimes they go higher uh, and you just take the median average of them uh, to get the the correct you know area uh, that you're looking for and this the 1456 is a, winds up being 
a high probability number. That's why I put it up there. So anyway, I'm still looking for downward movement. Um, we could get back up to here. Uh, we have a visual right there, and this is very key. You want to go over, actually, I'll just use this slide. This is your visual point right there. And if you notice what I've said before is that this mid 24,000 to the uh, low 25K area is going to be your resistance visually. That's what you can actually see on the chart. Now, your FIB numbers go all the way back up to this 26,000, this uh, mid to low 26K area uh, as far as your FIBs go. And there's statistical relevance there. Then your projections for the downtrend to continue go out until uh, the summer into this September area, let's say, and all the way until 2024. So we can have continuation lower. Uh, we can make a big bounce up, then drop all the way back down. We should have some pretty decent volatility building, like what you see right up here. You have expansion. Um, so when we hit this lows in the 15,000 area, the mid 15K area, um, we had a big move all the way back up to 23K. Now that's expanded. That's higher than what you see over here from this 17 to uh, your 25. That's a higher percentage. Uh, so the percentages are building back up. But your volume isn't there. It, it, your volume is still lackluster. You just had the bigger volatility and percentage of move because there's uh, it's empty. Uh, it, it, great volatility. It's good for traders, good for people like me, but probably not for the, the the people that are just holding, you know, they don't, if they're not trading it, then there's, you know, uh, it, it's not positive for them because there's still more downside projection available. Um, and that is still likely to occur going out forward, even though we're getting this pump up. You've seen the pattern that I've showed over here and that W is still in place. So I have to trade it accordingly and I have to just, um, look at that to the downside. So we're looking for uh, the next year, 2023 20, to 2024, to basically mostly be negative, okay? Uh, not because I want there to be. It's not up to me. I don't care what the market does. I just have to note what's there. Resistance here, resistance over here, projections down here until this September, um, late summer time frame and out to here. And then where do we go from here? Well, this is what's more interesting. Let's go to one week. And let's start bringing this down here. And I'm gonna have some numbers that are going to blow your minds or should blow your minds because they're pretty big numbers. This is not small change here. <laughs> the first area, um, statistically, going out into 2026, uh, to the end of 2025, 2026, all the way till 27, the end of towards uh, 2027, is the uh, around 140 all the way from around 120. Okay, they've been elevated from previous numbers because of this pullback that we've had. And this would be the expansion. Now, if you've studied stock markets and other prices of things, um, this is just a transition point. That's why I put it in yellow. And it goes from that November of um, over here to 27 from 26, from January of 26. So that's 120 to 140, which is basically, uh, it's a 100% uh, double. It's a double from these highs over here, which was around the 69. And so if that goes up to 40, that's about a double. But that's just a transition area. Let's draw the lines. And let's draw them from here. Yeah, we'll make that blue and we're going to go all the way up.
up to right here, which is your endpoint, what you would be looking for it to go up to. Uh -huh. I'm gonna stretch these. Uh -huh. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, there you go. So from a time basis going all the way even past 2030, which is over five years from here, but from this point on, all the way up to here, we can get a move from 2028. This comes into play in 27. So 27, 28, to even to 29, uh, we're gonna likely go to this 290,000 range, maybe even somewhere in here. Um, it might go over, it might go a little bit under, but it should come to this point, this 2000, uh, 290,000 range. This is your primary target after 2028. Um, so from where we are in 2023, going five years out, we're going to be looking to go toward these levels and surpassing the 130, 940, that area there, um, from the 120 to 140. This is a resistance point. Um, so what would happen is we could make a big move upwards, probably towards the end of next year. And when we come into the happening and then start to move forward, upward. And it's going to box in kind of like this here. Let's if I take it for time. And I believe that's well, 2028. So that goes into the next happening even beyond what we have from here. So that's what we're looking at there. If you see this transition box and these lines over here, how they line up uh, going out into 2028, we could be on our way to the 290,000 range. I know that seems like a lot. But I guess that seemed like a lot when Bitcoin was back in the $500 to $400 range before it went up $1,200. And then $1,200, it seemed like a lot when it went up to the $20,000, this spike over here. Um, and then that $20,000 seemed a lot when it went all the way up to around almost $70,000. So is it really going to be that much? Is that going to really seem like a lot to go all the way up to 291? Well, it doesn't matter. Those are the projections for what is likely to happen within the next five years will be on our way. And this will be the minimum before we make our bigger move to these numbers over here. Now, how this moves and how quickly, it's going to be up to the, to the price. Uh, I have no way of knowing, but these are the projections. And because of the pullback that we've had over here, nobody would be expecting this, but you know, I don't care. Then the numbers are numbers. The charts don't care. And that's what we're looking at for the next five years. So we still have a downward bias that can go all the way down to the around that 8,000, 7,800 mark. And or we could bottom out here or even around that 14,000, the, the, the 14, the, the upper 13K area before we start making these numbers in the next year. All right, so the next year, let's zoom back in. This is what we're looking at. Now I've got to expand the charts again. Oh, it's such a pain. This is what we're looking at here. From there, actually, let's go to the one day. Makes it easier. Working with the lines on trading view is not an easy task. So we're still on the downside here and going out before we reverse sometime from the late summer of 23 all the way till the end of the year and then our bigger move upwards that has us going for projected numbers all the way up to here to this 
120 to 140 area. And then ultimately, maybe towards late 28 or 29 or somewhere in there, we'll be at numbers all the way up here in the 291,000, which I know might seem fantastical to you, but um, that's just crypto. And that would be the next, you know, the secondary two phases of the next bull market uh, before we get expansion. And I will tell you this, um, there's not going to be as much supply of Bitcoin to go around that's going to cause this because the bigger money that's coming into the, the marketplace, the billionaires are gonna understand the value of having a the cryptocurrency, which is not controllable by any government. I want you to recognize that value. It's not controllable by a government. It's internet money. And it simply goes off of supply and demand and the scarcity of it. And it's not controllable by anybody. So it just works off the, the physical supply and demand. And once the billionaires and the millionaires understand that point of view, they're gonna be buying this like crazy and holding on to it. The Jamie Diamonds are gonna be telling you to sell, sell. It's all a scam, it's going to zero while they buy. And they're gonna buy in, in big chunks because uh, the dynamics of supply and demand, it's gonna grow across the world, and that's just a mathematical certainty. It's not about right or wrong or good or bad, but that's what's likely to occur. So that's what I'm looking for for the next five years out. We'll see how accurate it is, how fast it gets to this area here, and then makes our move towards that 290,000 range all the way up to here. So 140 to 120, within the next five years and then beyond that, we're looking at numbers that even could extend up to above that all the way up to the 290,000 by 2028. So we could just make a, a straight beeline for that. Uh, maybe somewhere in here first before we get a pullback to there and then make the move up. We'll see, but that's the projection. I hope you enjoyed the video. You guys have a great week and I'll talk to you again soon.